John here guys! We're here at the night spot with the Protec 25 and we're gonna see how this does carrying a 1300 milliamp hour 4S pack with the GoPro Hero 9 and I've even loaded it up with a little bit of TPU protection in case of a crash. We're gonna put this two and a half inch Cinewhoop to the ultimate test to see how smooth, how long and how heavy of a load you can carry. Is it really all it's cracked up to be? Now of all of the Cinewhoops out there that are bind and fly creations, iFlight seems to be leading the pack by far. Now the industry standard for professionals, if you're willing to go the undertaking of creating your own craft is the Slam Squirt 2. But if you want to buy something, um, the iFlight Protec series has just taken the market by storm. The Protec 35 being the more popular, larger, bigger brother to that. And one of the reasons why the Protec 35 is so good is because it uses a larger than standard three and a half inch prop while most Cinewhoops are three inch. That extra disc area allows it to get a lot more lift and a lot more speed thanks to its larger than standard motor size. Well, the Protec 25 attempts to shrink all of that um, almost to where it can fit in the palm of your hand and it uses two and a half inch props. Well, we've covered two and a half inch Cinewhoops on the channel before like the Diatone uh, versions right there that we've had and they all fly pretty terrible. Um, the lower prop size, the lower disc area, the smaller motors generally just can't carry a full size camera. You would want to carry something like a Insta360 GO 2 or something like that. But spoiler alerts, iFlight manages to come up with a formula that can carry a full size GoPro. So why would you ever want something like this versus the larger big brother, the Protec 35? Well, this one has so much control and a little bit smaller size that you can really comfortably take it at lower speeds and close proximity. The 35 um, is really for chasing something like uh, motorsports, some kind of motorcycle, a four x four, something like that, where you're gonna wanna be moving a little bit faster. Uh, this allows you to kind of do the same thing, but at a slower speed going through tables and whatnot. I could not believe the precision that this thing has all on two and a half inch props. Now, part of how iFlight gets away with that is by using this super fat prop that gives you more pitch, uh, on there and also gives you more prop area in order to get a lot of lift. They also use a 1404 motor that is good for 4s a four cell battery voltage on a 1404 high kv motor there's 5500 kv that's a lot higher i was thinking maybe i should make my own version of this after flying it i just was blown away i didn't think that this size could generate this amount of power have this amount of lift and speed and this amount of control. Now I'm doing that by keeping a pretty low camera angle. Camera angle on here is only 10, 15 degrees because I don't need this thing to go fast. It won't be able to. It's not gonna be as fast as my Squirt V2. So why would you want this? If you were gonna have more than one Cinewhoop or you only were gonna Cinewhoop very, very slowly, uh, this is what you wanna do. So if you had the Protec 25 and 35, it's kind of like having, if you're a camera guy, a wide lens and a long lens. They're used for different purposes, different scenarios. And by having multifocal lengths in your lens bag, you're able to really accomplish multiple things. That's what this thing is for. This is your up close and personal slow speed kind of a thing. So if you were only gonna have one, Squirt V2 hands down, build your own, spend the money, spend it up. I'm gonna have a Johnny Five edition of that coming up on the channel very, very soon. But if you're gonna go buy, if you wanted to spend your time flying, getting jobs, creating quality cinematic footage versus on the bench building, um, these two options are perfectly awesome. So 35 if you wanna go fast and follow something that has a motor in it or follow somebody on a bike, um, if you're going to be following somebody that's more like walking speeds, the 25, my goodness. I just can't believe how they've done this. These really are more like ducks than guards, so you don't get a lot of that turbulent prop wash in there. You can see from the side that it's kind of open in there, so you get the protection of a Cinewhoop without a lot of the prop wash characteristics. Now, it's still going to have some, 
But uh, this is carrying the Hero 9, the heaviest GoPro on the market right now. The Hero 10 is about to come out, which I understand is going to be a very similar size. I didn't think this was possible. If you would have told me, can you fly two and a half inch Cinewhoop and is it going to be worth anything? I would have said no, and I would have been wrong. This is fantastic. It uses iFlight's um, 25 by 25 whoop board in there to power it. So it keeps the weight pretty low. I'll put the weight of the screen with the GoPro on there. I used a 4S 1300 on here to get maximum flight time. You can use probably a 1050 or even an 850 if you want to get a little bit less weight. I just went ahead and flew it with the battery, but you could easily also fly one of those iFlight um, connectors to be able to power the GoPro and save about 25 grams like that but this thing just does it so well. It's not even necessary, I can't believe it. This is the analog version. This is the one that we had on the FPV sales alerts group for $68 a few weeks ago. Can you believe this expensive center loop for 68 bucks? So if you're not in the FPV sales alerts group, be sure that you get in that group, link in the description below, and you'll be able to get deals like this. Now, what are we gonna do with this? I like this way more than I thought I would, but I'm gonna give this away. I'm gonna be giving this away, and sorry it's not gonna be a giveaway that you can participate in. The artist that designed my logo, I actually did a painting of the logo right here. I got stickers of it. I'm going to trick him into accepting the Cinewhoop. I noticed he was looking for a Cinewhoop the other day. He hasn't been flying in a few years, but he's curious at Cinewhoops, so I'm gonna send this to him, even though I really like it. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it, but it's going to go to Jesus. Now, the thing was, I was wanting a logo a few years ago. I had a sketch in mind. I sent it to him, and he just went above and beyond and designed this beautiful creation right here. And uh, afterwards, I was like, hey, let me send you some money. Let me pay you for this. And he refused payment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick him into accepting this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, give me your address. I'm going to send you some of these stickers I made with the logo that you designed. And instead, I'm going to send him this. Uh, so let's see if we can get a reaction from him. I've been, been so chuffed to bits with having this logo. And so it feels good to be able to do it. So a few weeks ago, uh, a buddy of mine, Johnny Five, said, hey, I got some stickers. Give me your address. I was like, sure. And I'll send him my address. And... Uh, he sent me a box and I go out and check the front door and I'm looking at it I was like, that's a huge box for stickers. Like, ah, it's gotta be something my girlfriend ordered probably. So I go and I open the box, right? And check this shit out. Holy fuck! Stickers is promised? What the? Oh, fuck, this is awesome. Fucking wow. Thank you, dude. I really, really, really appreciate it. Wow feels good to be able to do it. So iFlight Cinewhoop, man, if you want to Cinewhoop slowly, if you're going to use anything smaller on here, like a Runcam 5, it would fly even better, or an Insta360 GO 2. I just, I can't believe it. I can't believe this is the formula. So the formula for this, a lot of times they want to use like smaller 1106, 1206, 1207 motors, 1404 with super high KV seems to be the answer. I was not able to find a motor in a 1404 size that had a KV this high to buy. So if I wanted to make my own version, you can't even do it. 5,500 KV, crazy. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you center whooping? Are you building your own? Or are you spending all of your time flying instead of building and buying off the shelf? This Protec series seems to be the best bond and fly series that you can buy. But if you did want to get a custom one made, if you wanted only one Cinewhoop to kind of handle your needs big or small, I still would recommend the Squirt V2. I'll have a link in the description where you can get one custom made from Quant Standard Labs, the same one that we've had featured on the channel here. And uh, either one of the links below will help me out. So if you did make it this far, I do appreciate you guys supporting me by using the links. Uh, I also have a Patreon up. Uh, that's totally optional though. Sometimes I give some early views of pictures and videos of stuff that I'm working on that you guys get early access to before they come out on the channel. And of course, you guys can always put input in to make sure that there's things that I test and mention when those videos come out. If I had to change anything, I'd probably put Crossfire on here. I did get a fail safe with the FR Sky receiver in here once, uh, but that's not really that big of a deal because normally you're not gonna wanna send a whoop with FR Sky anyway. Thanks guys.